the world's richest woman. Hello and welcome back to Mr. Million. Today we'll take a look at the top five richest women in the world. There's no denying that some women have earned enormous riches all across the world. Let's get things started. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel and ring the bell. Number five, Miriam Adelson. She is the widow of Sheldon Adelson, the former head of the Las Vegas Sands CEO and chairman who passed away at the age of 87 in January 2021. She now owns more than half of the $48 billion gaming empire, which includes casinos in Las Vegas, Singapore, and Macau. Miriam and Sheldon Adelson, Republican big donors, contributed $180 million to Republican races and political action groups in 2020. She was born in Israel and went on to become a medical doctor specializing in addiction. She and Sheldon established the Sheldon G. Adelson Research Clinic in Las Vegas, which helps patients suffering from opioid use disorder. Miriam inherited the majority of her money and rose to a net worth of $38.2 billion, making her the richest Israeli, the fifth richest woman in the world, and the 36th richest person in the world. Abramovic, on the other hand, had a good year, making $4.2 billion for a total net worth of $14.5 billion. Number 4. Julia Cook Julia Cook and her three children acquired a 42% interest in Cook Industries from her late husband David, who died in August 2019 at the age of 79. Cook, who was born in Iowa, went to New York City in the 1980s to work as an assistant to fashion designer Adolfo. She worked with several of his high-profile clients, including Nancy Reagan, the first lady. When her late husband died, she made a $10 million donation to Mount Sinai Medical Center and a $10 million donation to Stanford Children's Hospital to investigate food allergies. According to the Forbes 400 list, Cook owned a wealth estimated at $53.5 billion, making him the sixth richest American in a tie with his brother Charles. Cook also left behind at least $143 million of real estate in New York City, the Hamptons, Aspen, and Florida, although the status of those assets remains unknown following his death. Number 3. Mackenzie Scott Scott, whose marriage to Amazon founder Jeff Bezos dissolved in 2019, became the coronavirus pandemic's most generous philanthropist, donating $5.8 billion to 500 nonprofit organizations across the United States to promote issues such as racial justice, LGBTQ rights, and public health. She just remarried, and her husband, science instructor Dan Jan Jewett, has agreed to join her 2019 commitment to give away a large portion of her money. As part of the divorce settlement, Bezos surrendered 25% of his Amazon share to Scott in May 2019, giving him a 4% ownership in the firm. She signed the donating commitment immediately after announcing the conditions of her divorce on Twitter. In late July 2020, she announced that she had donated nearly $1.7 billion to 119 nonprofit organizations and that she had changed her surname from Bezos to Scott. Number 2. Alice Walton the daughter of Sam Walton has lost her position as the world's richest woman to Francois Bentoncourt Myers, who has nevertheless acquired $7.4 billion in the last year. Walmart's stock has increased by more than 5% since mid-March of 2020. The retailing behemoth offered free delivery as part of an Amazon Prime-like membership program, which helped grow online sales by 69% in the fiscal year ending in January. Her tremendous net worth, mostly derived from Walmart's monopolistic dominance in retail, places her as the world's 17th richest person. Sam Walton's only daughter, Alice Walton, is the founder of Walmart. Unlike her siblings, Rob and Jim, she has chosen to focus on curating art rather than working for Walmart. In her hometown of Bentonville, Arkansas, she created the Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art in 2011. Number 1. Francois Betancourt Myers Francois Betancourt Myers may be the world's richest lady, but her life has not been simple. The granddaughter of L'Oreal inventor Eugene Schuyler Betancourt Myers acquired a cosmetics fortune worth $55.6 billion. Unlike a normal billionaire, Betancourt Myers concentrated her emphasis on her job in 2017 following a lengthy legal struggle with a close friend of her mother. Betancourt Myers, a novelist and member of L'Oreal's board of directors, and her family hold around 33% of L'Oreal's shares. She has been on the board of L'Oreal since 1997 and is the chairperson of the family holding business. In 2017, she was crowned France's reigning L'Oreal heiress. According to Forbes, her current net worth is a whopping $82.9 billion, enough to buy a home in every state. 
If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. And if you want to show your support for the channel, all you have to do right now is take two seconds and press that thumbs up button and like this video.